Hello guys and welcome to my let's play of Supremacy 1914 part 8 and it is day 29, almost been one month. So um, first things first, like always, gotta just check the news. Still in first place, but Spain is catching up. I'm out of places I can take, that's a problem. So what can I take, you think? Well. Russia and Spain are moving in on Austria, and so is the Ottoman Empire. I don't want to be part of that land grab. I really don't. And I go over here, and I see Spain. He's just building up railguns. He's been building up fortresses along my border every day. He's in any time I moved any troops near his border, he'd move all these troops back, ready to declare war on me. So I feel like I have to declare war on Spain now. It is the only time while I will have more technology than him, as I'm building a railgun and he doesn't have any railguns. And see, he's keeping this battleship even on my border. This guy is totally prepared for war with me, specifically, which is annoying. So, when... Now, here's what you gotta do for when you declare war. Like a massive world war where the countries have in the hundreds of thousands of troops and the millions of troops, and... It's more. It's like more than half of the map. You gotta make sure, first of all, that you've got allies. I've got my comrade the Russia up here. If I need anything, I know that guy will help me out. Next thing is you need to make sure you have money. And right there, wealthiest nations, Commissar Tom, 33% of the world's wealth is mine. And what is his name? His name was... Skolum? He's probably not... He's not even on the list. So, I can outrun him economically. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have more troops. Let's see. I alone consist of 583 troops. And Spain has 412 troops. And my ally Russia has 316. I can do this on my own. However, I'm going to need Russia's help with the oil supplies and such. Alright, so next you want to send your spies. I can send a lot. First of all, let's make sure I have. All, I don't have all the spies that I already need. I don't need one in Spain. Buying Spain, buying, or I don't need one in Sweden. Sorry, buying spies is expensive. It's not worth keeping all these extra ones when I can use these ones on Spain. So here we go. Actually, I need the one in Paris. No, wait, that's not even Paris. <laughs> Alright, actually, I don't even need the one in Paris, because, actually, I'm going to keep this one because he might try to sabotage me, and I don't need the one in Austria, as Austria is about to fall. Alright, so there, I've got four spies. Boom, boom, boom. And I don't want this one. I want to have as many spies as possible, ready for duty. So, where should I put them, you may ask? Let's see. First thing I want to do is I want to have a lot of economic sabotage spies. I'm going to have one here. And one down here. These are where he's building his railguns that are to fight off my railguns. But I know he's getting just very specifically to fight me, which makes me feel very scared. Right? I mean, I'm allowed to feel scared. Right, the next is going to be in his capital or in his oil producing regions. First I want it in this region though, because this one produces even more oil. And then I want to put another here. I want to produce even more spies. Let's put one here. This one damages upgrades, so... Actually, no. I want to put him... over here, in Casablanca, because he gets more oil out of here. This is called Dirty War. Spies are very important. I want to destroy his forts. I really do. It's important. So right now, my only advantage is my... Well, I've got a lot of advantages. Just my surprise, though, is my number one advantage. And the fact that almost all of his troops are all the way over here. Hmm. His troops are pretty split up. I can probably get through a lot of them. I want 
to put another here. I want to damage his ability to um, produce weapons of war the most. That includes these damn uh, factories. These are the pain in my thigh. He's got more oil than me. That's just a fact. So I've got to take out his oil. Alright. Next thing you want to do is you want to set your objectives. I want to take out this city, Barcelona, Sagrosa, and whatever uh, whatever this city is. This city is Bourgeois, Bourgeois. I want to take those out now, instantly. That'll take out his main factory, and then he'll move up with his battleship, and I'll move up my, uh, my artillery gun to shoot his battleship. And victory will be mine. <laughs> And even if he shells it more, that's fine by me, because he's going to take it back, probably. But if he shells it, the more he shells it, I mean, the less it's going to be useful for him. I mean, the factory will just be destroyed. Alright. So, I also want to protect my Italian border. I've got 51,000 right here that I'm going to send half here to Munich and half to... Uh, Zurich, Switzerland. Right. So now let's get up the other men. These are just my reserves, by the way. This isn't even my main armies. And then let's send these ones, 38,000, to Loyon. Let's send this gun over here. Takes a while, unfortunately. Alright, so now I want to send these 40,000 over here. And I want to send all of this 242,000 down here. This is going to be a big day. <laughs> I want to keep all these men over here for my future invasion along the coast. And now I want to try to take out that battleship. That's going to be the main thing that's going to try to stop me, because his other battleship's all the way over here. So, I want to declare war on Spain. Good luck. And one thing you want to do is you always want to overestimate the strength of the enemy's empire, which is something I do quite well. He's going to take this island, that's for sure. And yes, I have barracks is being built, built over here. Attack. All right. Next thing you want to do is you want to overestimate the enemy, which I think I just said that, jeez. <laughs> and you want to know what he's building. And right now I know what he's building. So let's see. I'm going to... Go ahead and try to rush. He, he just got another thousand men. That was pretty cool. He wants to try to rush him the second the war starts. Because, I mean, you never know. I might get lucky and take out that factory. Like, right away, per se. Alright. Let's see. Send these men here. These men here here. I'm going to need all my men for this war. All of them, my goodness. And I'm building a battleship down in Brest. And I need to be building some more artillery. I can sell some of this. And I also need to be building a little bit more barracks, if I can. I'm going to do that without you guys, because I've just got so many places that have barracks. It'll just take forever. Hmm. This war is going to be very brutal and very violent, and it'll be fun as hell. I just know it. Okay, guys, moving. 30,000. Let's build a fort. No, wait, building. I need that. I need to make sure that city stays safe. 
once he gets a few minutes out, I'm going to start shelling Turin. And then afterwards, I'm going to explain to him why I'm doing this. Oh, by the way, I'm about to take um, out Resknovik, which is the last, um, which has oil, which means I'll be able to produce 100 oil an hour. Oh, God. Experience producing, like, a thousand. <laughs> He's not giving me any, which is the main reason for this war. Two days until those um, artillery will be ready. So I have two days to take out Barcelona and Skolem, or that city is going to be already. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Alright, I've still got plenty more money, which I need a lot of it for, you know, wars. Just having a war economy. But because I'm feeling pretty, uh, like I need every little bit I can get, let's uh, go ahead and set some more men to destroy resources. Let's see, double grain provinces, those are good. He's building a dock there, which obviously means he's trying to get something out of it. Alright, let's get two more spies, that's all I need. Hmm. Oh, right down there. So the main goal is to try to take out mainland Spain right now. That's going to be the main job I need to do. The quicker I push in, the less chance of having two artillery guns he's going to have. And also, I'll be able to steal that artillery gun. Which will be helpful, to say the least. Alright. Um, that's actually probably pretty good. It's always good to have one extra spy in uh, the thing. So I guess that's all for right now. I'm Commissar Tom. I'll make another one of these tomorrow. So take care.